All right, and welcome to one more edition of Boxing Al Garete with your host, Robert Sanchez. <laughs> All right, people. So, um, just hitting you guys up with one more video before the day ends. Um, there hasn't been much boxing news, so I'm just kind of gathering up just a few bits, bits and pieces here and there. But, uh, so, Charlo's uh, numbers came in today. Um, he did... Um, a little bit shy of 2 million um, views uh, it, to be exact it was 1 million 832 that tuned into the Charlo fight um, it was an average I think I guess of uh, 1.8 uh, for the three bouts for the three actual bout the average was 1.2 so um, those are really really good numbers especially for last place uh, replacement um, that actually shows that um, Charlo's the Charlo brothers star power is pretty good and that they're doing their thing um, when it comes to to views um, so hopefully um, that gets their name thrown in the pot um, he performed very good hopefully we'll see the rematch um, with him um, later on this year I'm expecting him to probably get his title back. Um, it's going to be a very, very, very close fight like it was last time. So we're just going to have to wait. Um, I'm also very proud of my boy, uh, Gimme Irmo Rigandau. Um, You know, he's he's gotten a lot of uh, bad luck, especially with his promoters and, and all that stuff. But, you know, he averaged a 1.3 uh, million views. Um, he was in the pocket all night long. He was not running. He stayed in the pocket. He and he got his guy out of there. Um, but yet again, yet again, there's some controversy circulating, my boy. You know, it seems like every time he tries to, you know, perform and tries to, you know, make the people happy, you know, somebody has to protest. So last time it was, I think it was like a punch after the bell or something like that i can't really recall what the issue was but i know they protested it ended up i think they ended up taking the making it into a no contest i think i'm not i don't remember um but now they're doing it again um so the guy he fought that day uh let's see here who was he fighting oh yeah julio cejas so i guess they uh they're protesting the the referee's decision to stop the fight um, I did watch the fight. Um, Seha did get up before the eight count. Um, he did respond to the ref. Um, personally, when I first saw the stoppage, um, you know, uh, I felt like, hey, what the fuck? You know, why you stopped it? Like, you know, what's going on? I was confused a little bit by the ref. Um, but then as the as the fight went on or whatever, you know, as you know, they started announcing, I I didn't see much complaining on the fighters, and at that moment. Um, and also I looked at his face and his face was fucked up. So, you know, he was all obviously the, the clear loser of the fight, even though he landed more punches, you know, but at the same time, like, it's like I tell people, they weren't clean punches, you know, everything was either raised or, you know, like there was a few clean ones. I'm not gonna lie, but most of them were, you know, caught shots by, by my man, uh, Rigandau and, you know, and he was countering back with straight shots and uppercuts oh man he went off on the uppercuts uh he was just going in on him with those uppercuts and he performed very 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 well um personally um i think sejas should just take the l um i personally think it was a matter of time too because of the way he knocked him down and how early in the fight it was and you know, like, I feel like Reagan Dow was getting in that ass. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what decision that they, 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 that they take on that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, and then the last news I have on that, on the whole thing, on that is that uh, good news, at least for uh, uh, other Cuban um, fighter. Lara um, was just ordered to fight Soro uh, for the WBA uh, belt. Castaño is officially removed. So I guess there was some issues with Castaño. Um, 
and I guess okay so what I read was that supposedly Castaño was supposed to fight I think Soro and on a rematch or something like that and he didn't make that rematch so basically the WBA decided to you know name Soro the new mandatory you know for the eliminator for the mandatory or whatever because he uh, refused to make that fight uh, for what I could read, the reasons why um, the fight wasn't made was because I, I guess it's basically trust issues. Um, uh, Castano didn't really trust uh, Soro's side because last time um, it took him, it took them a very long time to pay him his money for the fight, for the original fight, and I guess um, I, I guess it had to something to do with that, most likely. So, um, the Lara Castano fight it, uh, rematch is a no go. We all know that ended in a, in a uh, draw. Personally, I saw Lara win the fight, but it was a close fight. Um, so, I'm okay with the draw. But I was really looking forward to seeing the rematch because um, personally, I felt that the reason why the fight was so close was because, yet again, another. Cuban fighter, uh, another boxer who decides he wants to please the fans and stand and fight. And then they get, you know, these type of decisions. So, um, personally, I feel like if Lara fights him again, I think he'll learn from his mistakes. I think he won't stay in the pocket with him. I think he'll use his legs, he'll use his jab like he does, his 1-2-1. Uh, his one, one. That's his favorite combination. Uh, you know, that's basically the left jab, straight hand, and then uh, ends it up with another left. Um, he was doing that to Canelo all night. Um, that's basically his favorite combination, um, which I feel like it works great. You know, he starts with a jab, ends with a jab. What more can you want? Um, but uh, I really feel that if the rematch does happen, uh, maybe next year, um, which I don't, I don't. I don't see any reason why now why it would happen because originally the 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 fight was for the mandatory for you know to for the number one you know for the mandatory position for the for the title so but if you know if Lara doesn't have to fight him for that then what's the point of fighting him you know but uh but yeah um that's all I got for you guys today please subscribe please hit the like button please share the video um, hit me up with your comments, uh, suggestions, you know, whatever you guys feel like you want to say. If you guys want to talk shit, I don't give a fuck. Um, but if you have any constructive criticism, I will take it. Or if you just want to debate about boxing, I will do that as well. Thank you for tuning in. God bless. Peace.